What's up guys? Well, I've got a Mountain House meal here. I've got scrambled eggs with bacon and um, I'm going to demonstrate, I, I'm not going to talk much right now because I'm going to, I've got a boiling pot of water here. There it is. And I'm going to make this right now. And while it's, hopefully I'm going to time it right. So while it cooks, here it is, freeze dried. I know it looks appetizing, doesn't it? And you got to put, I think it's two cups. Uh, oh, only one cup, eight ounces. I didn't need this much water. Oh well. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. Oh, and of course, gotta remember to take. Always gotta take this sucker out of there. Pour it in. I think I spilled a little, but we're all good. Okay, and just gotta mix it up real good. Gotta make sure you get all the. Everything on the bottom of the package mixed in. It actually smells really good right now, <laughs> believe it or not. You can smell that bacon and eggs. Um, by the way, this is not the first time I've done this, so I just want to put a disclaimer there. I've done this before. I've eaten Mountain House food before, and I like it. Actually, I kind of like it a lot. I think their foods are great. And I think they're one of the... Uh, better if not the best brand out there, frankly. Okay, just have to turn my stove off there. And so we wait for, oh, five to six minutes. Kind of a long time. I might cut this video off and uh, put the two together. Anyways, um, just to talk a little bit about this brand. Um, I've tried a few other brands before. I found Backpackers Pantry or something like that. A little more difficult than this. Uh, I did try one of the more challenging meals of the other brands. I think it was uh, biscuits and gravy. So there's a lot of steps with that one, as you might uh, as you might guess. But anyways, uh, I just want to show you the back here. There's a lot, it's, you know, high contents here, as you can see. Uh, I mean, high fat content, uh, no trans fat, but um, high cholesterol, high sodium. So why is that? A lot of people ask. Well, it's you know, these are primarily backpackers' foods. So if you're out there backpacking, you need, the, again, also high, calorie, high, high cal calories, uh, you need that, you know. So I believe that's the primary reason why. Also, it's preserved, you know. So, uh, you know, dehydrate, freeze-dried, I'm sorry, not dehydrated, freeze-dried. There's definitely a difference there. Um, yes, so you're going to have, you know, any time it's uh, preserved food, you know, whether it's canned, freeze-dried, or whatever, you, I believe you're going to have uh, high sodium for sure. Um, yeah, so anyways, very simple instructions as it shows here. Uh, open pack, tear notch, remove and discard oxygen absorber as uh, you saw here. Uh, carefully add a cup of boiling water, sometimes it's one, one and a half cups, sometimes it's two depending on the meal. Stir thoroughly and close zipper on top of pouch. That's what I did there. There is a Ziploc zipper there. And let's stand for five to six minutes. It does stand, of course, as you can see. Carefully drain excess water from the pouch. Serve, and for your convenience, eat right out of the pouch. I have a pole here, so I can, you know, I want to actually show you what it looks like. So, yeah, um, pretty cool. American made, uh, as you can see, I made in a, oh, right there. Albany, Oregon. They've been around for a long time. Uh, their number 10 cans, uh, their food that comes in number 10 cans lasts 20 to 25 plus years. So great for emergency preparedness. Um, I plan to uh, to look into that more. Uh, or these pouches last for seven years. So good for backpacking or for short-term emergency preparedness. If you just want to make a, a you know a three to seven day uh, emergency kit, you know, and have uh, you know have meals for that amount of time, uh, then these pouches are great because, you know, they're, you can integrate them in your, in your, um, in your eating as well, you know, you, you know, as you, uh, as you, as they come closer to their expiration date, you can eat them and, and use them up and, you know, replenish your, your, uh, your kit, or your stock. So, um, of course, you don't want to eat them on a daily basis, again, because of this really high content of a cholesterol, sodium, and fat content. Not all of them, by the way, but, you know, a lot of them. 
uh, you don't want to eat them on a daily basis because that's kind of going to be kind of unhealthy unless you're backpacking every day or you're doing really hard work every day. Even then, that cholesterol, oh, 170%, is kind of a lot. So, anyhow, but you know what? I mean, I'm not, I'm not a professional, and you know, I'm not a, a dietitian or anything like that, so or a doctor. So you want to consult those kind of people if you're going to uh, really uh, start eating this stuff a lot or whatnot. You know. Think about your current health condition. So I'm hoping this five minutes is going to come up soon because I don't want this video to go too long, but it looks like it might. Sorry about that. Uh, what else? Um, I actually, I'll put a, tell you about this. I um, When I first learned about these, I, did this, I, I bought a whole bunch of the pouches, and I invited a bunch of family and friends over. There may be ten of us, uh, maybe seven or ten of us, and we cooked up... I think maybe 12 or 15 different meals, including some of the veggies, the the corn and the peas and the green beans, and um, and we had like a kind of a tasting, you know, because I just wanted to show everyone and to see, you know, see get everyone's thoughts and uh, and I'll tell you, um, I don't, I didn't have any negative responses. Everybody liked them. All the meals. I mean, there were a few that were like uh, like I didn't like the sweet and sour pork so much because I just don't like sweet and sour pork, but man. I don't think any of them got bad, uh, bad uh, reviews or bad. You know, everyone liked the the different meals and the different flavors and everything. Man, it was it was uh, awesome. So I just I'm really kind of a believer <laughs> with uh, you know the Mountain House brand. I think they uh, man, it's just it's it's good food and it's well preserved. You know, and they again they they've been around for uh, for a while. So I think they're a reliable company. Uh, so I think five minutes, five to six minutes is coming up here. I'm just gonna give a little taste and see. Yep, that seems good. So look inside. It kind of looks kind of nasty. I know, I know. We're gonna drain the water out right now. The excess water. There's kind of a lot of excess water. Uh, you can't see it. Anyways, I'm uh, gonna drain that out. It's kind of a lot again. Get most of it out of there. I don't want it to look all nasty when I pour it into the bowl. And, okay, my battery's running out too, so we're going to do this. Pour it into the bowl. Wow, it's kind of a lot. This is one serving, by the way. They do have, or is it one serving? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says breakfast serves one. There, uh, a lot of the pouches come in uh, two or four serving uh, serving sizes, so depending on what you want. If you got a family, you're gonna, you know, those might be good. You know, a little more cost effective. So that's, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like kind of a lot of eggs, and there's bacon bits in there, and uh, yeah. So there it is. You know, to me, shoot, it's pretty good. The bacon is tasty. The eggs are uh, kind of broken up, but they're juicy and I uh, yeah, sorry for disappearing for a second there. All I need is a little bit of Tabasco, and I'm happy. Although the t it tastes fine right now, but man, put some Tabasco on there, and, and I'm stoked. So, yeah, there it is. The Mountain House freeze-dried food. I'm... I'm going to go enjoy this now. So, uh, <laughs> Anyway, so that's, uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that little video. And, um, yeah, check them out, man. And, you know, do your own research. Check out... Some, go to REI or wherever the store you like to go to for this kind of stuff. And... and uh, I, I buy directly from Mountain House sometimes because, and uh, their shipping is, is expensive to where I am, but they, uh, they're willing to ship USPS, so that was cool. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you know, buy a bunch of different of the, the brands out there and just try them, you know, test them, see what, which ones you like. But for me, it was Mountain House, and uh, there's, there's just an example of it. So, alright, thanks for watching, see you next time.